afectación prostática eh, y los resultados en la actualidad del doctor, el doctor Pisco del, del Hospital San Luis. Muchas gracias. Buenos días. Muchas gracias por la invitación. Voy a quedar de cambiar de portuñolo para inglés. Um, congenital BPH is a very frequent entity. All men will have it if they live long enough. All the traditional treatments may be associated with immorbidity and sexual dysfunction. Therefore, this, this um, need on a new treatment in order to avoid these complications. We present in our first, our first uh, part of this communication the medium and long results presented, uh, published last year in JVR, and uh, it was considered one of the best uh, papers. Therefore, we received a, uh, a prize at the CVR. Between March 2009 and October 2014, we treated six, 630 patients. The mean age was 65.1. The patient will control 136, uh, six months and six, and then every six months up to three years, and after that, every year. N nowadays, we follow those patients before, one, six months, 12 months, and every year. How to stop medication? Initially, when you start the procedure, we used to stop the medication one week before. But now, we change it. Now, the patients continue with the same medication, and they stop it. At one, month, at one month, one week later, we stop the 5 hour reductase if they, they have it. If they, they have the 5 hour, uh, five hour reductase, they should stop slowly, otherwise they get worse. If they have both, com both medications, then they stop before the 5 hour reductase and then the alpha blockers. That is very important. We had a unilateral firm approach in most cases. PI was, it was technically successful in 98% of the cases. The, there were 1.9 technical failures. The embolization was bilateral in more, almost 93 cases, 93%. The patient, most patients were discharged till for six hours before. And the, the mean procedure time was safe with seven minutes, the mean fluoroscope 19 five minutes, and the mean dose area was 2,400 GLII. The, the community clinical success between short term was between 92 and 90, 85% percent, medium term between 83 and 81, and long term over three years, between three and seven years was 80, from 80 to 76%. So we have short term, the mean was 85.1, middle term 81.9, and long term 76.6, 7.3. Most clinical failures occur initially up to one month, and then mm -hmm. the recurrence decreases with the time. So we have 85 at middle term, at long, long, uh, short term, 14 middle term, and five at long term. The, the, the improvement is fast. A, a third of our patients improve when they are discharged three, four hours later. It's incredible. Why? Because we cause the ischemia of the prostate zone when this, or this or where um, prostestrone is converted into the, the duotrestestrone that is responsible for the symptoms. Um, the failures. Most failures were treated with repeat PAT, PAE after six months, some with therp, open surgery, and some had medical treatment. The cumulative clinical repeat, the clinical evaluation of the repeat PA, we have the results, 62 at the short term and the long term, 43.6. We have two major complications, blood wall ischemia was our 10th case, a friend of us, we have a patient with persistent pain for three months, and then we have some minor disorders. Now, I present now the results 
presented the SIR of 1,000 cases, following uh, for up to seven years. So we present here the short and medium long term, and the patients will, with the medication, or some of them, a quarter of them, refuse any treatment. And the, the patients will follow up um, between um, up to six, seven years. So we have here the results. The patients were real, very severe. IPS 23, call, IF, large prostate, and 112 patients were in acute renal retention, and 12, 210 were, were large prostate over 100 cc's. We use all embolic agents. The most that we use was PVA, then bead block. The technique, we have 1.7 technical failures. Bilateral embolization, over 90%. The, so we have 406 pairs, 406 that were uh, uh, fall on the over three years. The cumulative rate, so a third of our patients were better at the charge time, three to four hours later. Then we have 93 at the short time, and at long term we have uh, around 83.5%. We treat patients with, uh, with uh, acute urinary retention, as you see in the case, with the uh, uh, blood catheter. And in these cases, we have short term uh, in 90.6, long term in 78.5%. And you treat over also 1,210 patients over 100 cc's of prostate. Is one such a case? In these cases, we have middle and long term 76.2%. We, in August, we started using the fusion angiography. This was probably the first case, the first papers in the world. And uh, so what we try to do now, in the top slides, the top four, we have the, the vascularization, and in the bottom we see the time to reach the vascularization. So we try to, to research, to do some research because we don't know why some measures will imp improve, why others don't improve. So we try to get some, some of it. It's another case. So this is actually very nice pictures. We have here the vascularization, and here is the time to get the mass infarct vascularization. So the changes we have here, so quite improvement of the IPSS. All parameters improved a lot. So our results are similar to surgery. However, we have much our complications. The patients are discharged, most of them, between three and six hours. Almost immediate symptom relief in the foot of our patients, fast recovery, elastic results, and stop medical medication. We have two major complications, no sexual dysfunction, no urinary incontinence, and we have now eight newborns that were from eight men who couldn't, whose wife were Married for many years, they could not get pregnant because they would end up for blockers. So that caused um, retrograde ejaculation, so they could not get pregnant. So now we have 11 babies. How to avoid complication? Do a selective PAE. Avoid important collaterals to be artists. If not possible, then call them. Let's see some cases. Here we have a case that we arise from the accessory podental artery. Always this artery has communication with the internal podental here, spinal artery. So we place this coil here, as you see here. And uh, then we see here the prostatic artery, the coil here, and then we embolize it. In this case, we can see here, so we have the rectal, mid rectal artery, the prostatic artery. So we, sh we cannot embolize here because we cause ischemia. So what we did, we embolize the prostatic artery. We avoid the middle artery, we embolize it. In this case, the, so we have here a communication, a communication between the between prostatic artery and internal pudenda. But this is very small, we do not go through. So we went to internal pudenda artery, we can see here. 
also here is the prostatic artery without any communication and our stimulation. In this case here, we have, uh, we have here communication with the internal pudenda artery, with the penile artery. We place coits here, we place coits, and then we embolize it. So before and after embolization. Another case, so we have here the vesicle artery, we place coits, and then we embolize it. This case sometimes is very frequent, about 20% of the cases arise from the, the superior vesicle trunk. Sometimes we cannot go through the to the internal pudent, to the prostatic artery. So we place coils in the vesic artery and then we mobilize the, the prostatic artery. In this case, there is occlusion of the origin of the prostatic artery, but we are able to characterize this through collateral sequestration and then we mobilize it. So PAE made this distant treatment due to two. If patients know about it, many patients, a, a third of my patients come to me and they say, this I want to urology. They prescribe this, they read the literature of uh, five alpha reductase. I don't, I don't go to take this, and I don't know what to This is what I want. So the, more and more we'll see these patients. So if patients know about this procedure, they know local anesthesia, painless discharge, good results, no cycle dysfunction, and this great interest by Interventional radiology and also for by some urologists. At the SIR, I presented 1,000 cases. I was invited, uh, this, my, my presentation was considered the number one, as you can see here, to ask of, of, of 1,459 communications, which was the best. So, as a result, I was um, invited by the third time by a press conference about PAE. And from this conference came many papers all over the world. This is one of them from Daily Mail, the Sun, the Times, the half. Many papers came. This is one of them. In conclusion, Mr. Chairman, this is a safe, painless, and outpatient procedure. Low morbidity, no sexual function, no urinary continence. Fertility is preserved. Good short, mid, and long term. And I strongly believe that in four or five years, this is the stunt treatment and will replace surgery. Thank you for your attention. Muchas gracias, Dr. Pisco. ¿Alguna pregunta del público? Eh, me dicen si sí, son después, es verdad. Eh, gracias. <laughs>